Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I'm still having a run of a bit of a bit of bad luck. I can see that yesterday's video didn't do all that great. So if you if you didn't watch yesterday's video, it was about this. Uh, I just had an especially bad day yesterday, and it seems to be continuing today. I was just trying to get into my studio to monetize, look at the monetization, work on the monetization for my videos here. And I, I was locked out. I could not get into the, to my, my account. So I had a hard time looking up. I was working on that for the last two hours instead of looking up stories to talk about for you guys. But I did come across two stories. I want to talk about two stories this morning because I have just an opinion on both of these. One's about, one's about Good Morning America and an anchor on there. Uh, DeMarco Morgan, and he, he posted a picture of himself in bike shorts on his Instagram account. I'm going to talk about that in a second. The second thing I'd like to, I'd like to give you my opinion and ask your opinion on this. It's about the doctor on The Simpsons. Now, I haven't watched The Sims, the show The Simpsons. It's been on for, what, 30 years? I haven't watched it. I, I, I'm kind of out of that phase now. I've kind of grown out of it. Uh, I watched it for like the first 15 years. But I remember the doctor on there was a black guy. Kind of, it was kind of modeled after uh, Bill Cosby. Okay, so the guy that does the voice for that, he's a white guy. But the Simpsons have kicked him out and fired him to, to actually have the voice done by an actual black man. I'm going to talk about that in a second, too. So I've got an opinion on both. I've got a rather strong opinion on both of these things. And I'm, I want, most of all, I want your opinion. Do you agree with me or do you have a different view of this? Okay, let's start with DeMarco Morgan in Good Morning America. All right, so DeMarco Morgan, I don't know a lot about this guy, but I read the story. He's an anchor. He's a popular, affable, the word was affable, likable anchor on Good Morning America. And he posted, I think, so. Uh, I don't know if it was, a, it was a fellow anchor or female that took a picture of him in his bike shorts. And, you know, it, they're freaking bike shorts. We are men. We are not Ken dolls. You know, we have, and see, this, this story affects me personally because I've posted pictures of myself in my car. I, I want to use this picture on the thumbnail for this video because I, I'm curious to see if this video gets monetized or if I get in any trouble for this. It's a picture of me sitting in my car. I had no intent, no sexual intent whatsoever when I took this picture. I held the camera up. I was sitting in the car. I can't remember why I took this selfie, but I took it in the car. And I posted on Facebook and I got in trouble for it because of what I was wearing tight shorts and it showed the outline of my body. And I actually got suspended for, for a week from Facebook. And this isn't the first time this has happened. I've had comments on here about my tight shirt. I've had comments about a video I did, uh, The Haunted Tunnel. Here on this channel, if you go back about a year or two ago, I was wearing shorts. And apparently, you know, I was hiking. I was on my bike all day. I guess the shorts were tight and it, it showed a, a bulge. And I got comments on that. Uh, I did another I, I another one on Facebook where I, I was wearing a body stocking for, for Halloween. And I got in trouble for that. I got a, I got a warning for that. And the, the point here is... How come it's a double standard for women? I go on my Facebook account and there is just most the most outrageous pictures of young women uh, showing pretty much everything, you know, backside, what they call, if I could say this, camel toe and all this. And that, that's just fine and peachy for, you know, girls that are young enough to be my daughter or granddaughter to, to show every curve of their body. But me, a, a, a guy I, with no intent whatsoever, I get, I actually get in trouble and suspended for because you can see a part of my body. I think this is bullshit to to put it plainly. It's a double standard, you know. Like I said, there's no intent here. And with Demarco Morgan, I'll use the picture in the thumbnail. You know, he's wearing bike shorts, and I'll tell you what. As far as the bulge goes, it's it's not even it's not even a, I wouldn't even call it a freaking bulge. It's cutting into his, it looks uncomfortable, let's just say that. It's not even an actual package, you know, like, you, you know, look at, look at my picture. I'll use it in the thumbnail. 
You know, so there's a big hubbub at GMA, at Good Morning America. The executives are upset. They want him to take down this picture from his private Instagram account because he signed some kind of contract saying that even on your private accounts, your private uh, social media accounts, that they, they have, it's a requirement. They have to portray the, the good values of Good Morning America. So the, the executives are all in an uproar. A good Morning America, because you could barely see some kind of outline in his biker shorts. And I think that is just crap. Like I said, we are men. We are not Ken dolls, man. It's our, it's our body. And as long as there's no actual intent, I'm not talking about banana, banana hammocks here, Speedos. I'm not talking about stuff like that, where you're actually trying to give off a uh, a sexual view of yourself. We're just talking the natural outline of your body. I think that's crap. And these are bike shorts too. Like I said, I, I actually wear uh, what you would call like uh, long johns. You know, this is kind of a fad. It's kind of a thing now. You wear you know long johns and you wear shorts on top of the long johns. A lot of guys do this and that's how I ride the bike or I'll just wear shorts. I, I don't really wear biker shorts. Honestly, I'm just not that comfortable in them because I, I really don't want to show all my stuff. And they look, and people make, you know, people kind of laugh at bike shorts. I, I, I do, you know, I don't wear a helmet either. So what's that say about my choices? All right, let's get to the other one, The Simpsons. So this white guy is all upset. He's, he's saying The Simpsons go, has gone woke because he lost his job. Because he, he said that he was known as the whitest black man in America. He's a white guy. And he just, he does the voice of Bill Cosby very good. So he was chosen to do the, the voice of the, the, the kind of funny voice of Bill, like a Bill Cosby type voice on The Simpsons. But The Simpsons have now take, have removed him to use an actual black man. And I, I think this is totally correct. I think you should use the appropriate people. Now, if there's conservatives out there, or mag the mag of public out there saying, "Oh, Daryl, you know you're woke. This is a woke opinion." Let me ask you this, okay? If say there's a fe say there's a female, uh, somebody, what what if a man was were to portray a female on TV, like a, a sitcom, you know, where they actually had a, it's a female character, and they just chose a guy to to play that role? You, would you have a problem with that? I'm sure you would. You'd be complaining left and right about the rights of women. You're taking away jobs from women. So why isn't it the same with this? With the, with Shouldn't a, a black man play the role of a black man? And I thought about this. I just watched the, the, uh, the movie Jeremiah Johnson for like the 50th time yesterday. With the, it's got in, you know, it's got Native Americans. I'm part Native American. At the, the crows, black feet, flatheads. And I actually looked this up because at the end of the movie, I was looking at the names and I was looking for Native American names. I don't have a Native American name, but I was looking and I didn't see any. So I actually Googled it this morning to see if they actually, I was like, did they actually use Native, they, they did use Native Americans in the movie, Jeremiah Johnson. But I really think if you're going to portray a Native American, you should use a Native, who, who better to portray a Native American than a Native American? I mean, it's kind of insulting to use a, a Caucasian guy to portray a Native American or a, an African American or any anybody else. Just like conservatives would say, it, it's it's insulting to use a woman, a man to to play to to portray, actually portray a woman. You know, we're not talking about a trans thing here. We're talking about it's a female role, it's a female character, except they pick a guy to play that part. I've never seen that, but I'm using it as an example. So I believe that it's correct. It's just the right thing to do. It's insulting if you use, you know, using a Caucasian, if you think a, a Caucasian man can do the voice of a black man better than an actual black man, that's kind of insulting. That's, that's, to me, that's, just, that's, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think on these two topics. I got such a busy day. I got, I got to bring my car into the shop. I got to go back to the dentist. Uh, my, my, my string of bad luck is not over quite yet. I, I won't call it bad luck. I'll just call it uh, a change in circumstances. All right, you guys, I'll be back later with another video. You guys have a good Thursday.